Hello everybody, once again, here we are with another Audacity tutorial. This one I'm going to teach you all about, or not all about, but a little bit about, the batch feature in Audacity, otherwise known as Chains, which you will see here if you click on File, and this little thing, what I'm talking about, Apply Chain, Edit Chains. Chains is very cool. Uh, this is one of the many, many uh, interesting features of Audacity. And I use this one quite a bit. And what is this good for? This is really good for if you want to convert a whole bunch of files from, say, WAV file to MP3 or to AUG or to FLAC or to all of them all at once, um, which is something you can do right here. So before we get started on, on this, though, you have to make sure that you have your uh, the lame encoder installed on uh, your computer if you're using Windows. Um, if you're using Linux, it should be okay already. Uh, Mac, I'm not quite sure, but you may need some kind of a codec as well. But if you just go here to lame.buonzo.org, you will find this lame version 3.99.3 3 at this time in 2016 uh, for windows.exe just download that run it and install it if you can't remember this address or if this doesn't work just go actually if you just try to export something uh, from mp3 in audacity and it doesn't work it'll give you a link right there in the error uh, to that page and it'll take you right to it so make sure you have that installed first once you have the lame encoder installed, you will be able to uh, export MP3. So what is a chain? A chain is basically what that means. It's like a chain of effects or a chain of processes. And it just means like one after another. That's why they call it a chain. So basically in this chain, this is the one that comes with Audacity already set up. You can build your own chains as well. Uh, but this one uh, comes set up and it's a good place to start. Uh, this chain starts off with normalize. What normalize is, if you don't know, it basically just, uh, if a, a file is too low or anything below zero dB, like the peak, it will automatically bring that up to the peak. And it also does, um, on, uh, 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 uh audacity's normalize. There's also a DC offset remover. And that's something, if you don't know what that means, um, what that is, DC offset, if you look at a waveform, I should probably do another video on just this, but if you look at a waveform and like the spikes or the mountains and peaks and all that stuff, whatever you want to call them, are really heavy on one side. I'm not talking about one channel, but I mean like just the top or just the bottom. And that means that there's DC offset. That means, you know, that there's the waveform isn't quite balanced as far as like the alternating waves so that's why they call it dc offset like direct current i guess i don't i don't really know but um i just made that up but it sounded good i mean i know what it looks like and know what it does and usually like most audio software these days and sound cards are good enough to where that isn't a problem uh, it used to be more of a concern back in the day but Right now, it's it's. I rarely see a file with with horrible DC offset. So, anyway, that's a quick overview of normalize. Uh, export MP3. Obviously, that will export the file to MP3, and then end that tells the chain to stop. So, that's cool. If I just wanted to export to MP3, but I want to do more than that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Insert right here, and first I'm going to select Export AUG. And what AUG is, is basically like a, a another compressed audio format similar to MP3. Um, it's just a free or open source codec. I think that's the difference. So also, in addition to AUG, I'm going to also put in FLAC. And FLAC, many of you probably know, it's the lossless, uh, most one of the most popular lossless audio formats. And uh, I like it too. It's cool because it can... One of the things I like about it is it has like a full featured tagging system like MP3s do. So whereas waves don't really do that. And if you have a bunch of waves on your computer and you're playing them back on like, you know, 
VLC or whatever, they're not going to have any... I mean, there are wave headers, but chances are, like, whatever program the wrote them in isn't going to, like, read the song title, <coughs> song titles and all that. So, Flax better. And they're a little bit smaller. And a lot of things play them, too. So, now, what this chain will do is, basically, it's going to take a file and then export three different copies of that file. It'll export an MP3, an AUG, and a FLAC. So, I'm gonna just going to click OK here. And that's my chain. Oh, actually, let me go back. I'm going to rename that. So let's go to edit chains. And then right here, can I rename that? Um, hmm. I don't know if I can rename that or not. I double click it. Well, that's interesting. Anyway, I guess for the time being, I'll just leave it called MP3 conversion. Click OK. So now I'm going to go to apply chain. And then MP3 conversion is the only one here in my list. So we're going to go apply to files. And I'm just going to select a bunch of these. These ones that say peak on them are ones that I have already uh, mastered. So I'm going to select all of those. Uh, no drums. I think that one's mastered, even though it doesn't say peak. One, two, three, four, five. Well, that's good enough. There's more than that, but that's good enough for this uh, tutorial. So now we just click open. And now here it goes. Now that insane preset, uh, that was something I forgot to uh, go over with you. That's basically uh, just saying what uh, the preset is for the MP3 exporter. And insane is the highest quality. So now what it's doing, it's opening up every single one of those files. If you see, I don't know if it'll let me move this while this is happening. Yeah. So this up here, this is the list of all the files that we just told it to do. And now it's going through the, each one of those one by one and processing them with everything that was in that chain. So it's basically opening up every file, normalizing it, and then processing it or exporting it as an mp3, as a FLAC, and as an AUG. And if you have a lot, a lot of files, this could take a while depending on what you're doing. Of course, I, I selected you know, three different file types, too. You don't have to do that unless you want to. But regardless, it's much, much cooler than, you know, say you have a program that can convert one type of file. You could do one at a time and each do, you know, one file and then go back through and export all your flax and go back through and export all your augs. But in Audacity, as long as you have the chain set up, it'll do it all at once. So now that finished, let's go into my um, Google Drive folder where those files were. If we go into Masters and we go into Cleaned, Cleaned is the folder Audacity will create when you use a uh, chain. And now here are all these files. We have the FLAC or the AUGs. And... There's two augs in there because I actually did one before I made this video just to test what I was doing. Um, so we have an aug, and then we have flac, mp3, aug. So there you go. Basically just quick way to export multiple file formats. Now, with the chain feature in Audacity, you're not limited to just exporting uh, audio you can actually do effects this way too say if you have like you know 20 files that you want to put reverb on for some reason i'm not sure why you would ever want to do that but say you did want to do that you could go into edit chains and then we go to add and let's say reverb click ok and now i'm going to go to insert let's find reverb in here and here, this parameters thing, if you just click on edit parameters, here you can actually change your settings for the, how you want that uh, effect to sound on the chain. So whatever you decide upon there, just click OK. 
then you click OK here. And now I have a reverb chain. So let's just click OK. And then we can go back into Apply Chain. This time we're going to select Reverb, Apply to Files. And I'm not going to do that many files again. Let's just do, I don't know, let's do these two this time. Castle and Flutie. Okay, so it's opening those up. And I actually just made a mistake there because in that chain, yes, it applied reverb to both of those, but then it did nothing with them because I didn't tell it to export. So, yes, you can have reverb applied, and then it'll just close the file, and then, like, you never got to hear the reverb or anything. So in order for this to work, you're going to have to insert another uh, plug-in here and either do export as mp3 or export flac or export wave or whatever so for this i'm just going to do aug and make sure that this is on the bottom if it's on the top that's not going to work and you may want to do a normalize in here after the reverb because you never know how reverb is going to affect something it may drastically uh, lower the volume or it may drastically raise the volume so now we have reverb. Oops, let's bring that back up. Normalize should be for export. So you have to think about this in the order of how they should go. So you want your reverb first, then your normalize, then your export, then end. So let's click OK. Now let's go to apply chain. Keep it on reverb, apply to files, Casio tone and castle, open. Applying reverb, normalizing, and now it's exporting as Aug Vorbis. Applying reverb, normalize, and exporting as Aug Vorbis. So if we go back into our folder here, go back to the Google Drive folder, back to my master's folder, cleaned. Now in here somewhere there's Castle and Casio Tone I think was the other one I did. So let's hear how that sounds. Yeah, so now it's got reverb all over it. Anyway, so if you wanted to process things, uh, multiple files all at once, that's how you do it. And that is working with chains in Audacity, or batch processing, as it's called in most other software. Um, yeah, it's a great feature, very useful, especially with the conversion stuff. So thanks for watching. Hopefully that was educational, and please subscribe. Check out my other videos, blah, blah, blah. Thanks.